Hello, Monster Man, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 and Mortal Empires and part 10 of my Luan Luan Kerr campaign as Bretonia with the Grimhammer mods. Where we must return, we get, get revenge for Marienburg, which has been burned down by Morga. We didn't reach it in time, unfortunately. So we will get revenge by killing him and his reinforcing army. It's a lot of beast men to kill, though. Slamming into centigors on the flank. These Chaos Spawn have got Touch of the Moon on them, which means they get a lot more melee attack. But they will die once that finishes, so... Fine, good. The Green Knight is here as well. The Green Knight's joining us for the first time. Well, that's the second time, actually. He's currently surrounded by uh, Chaos Spawn and, and Ungor, but arrows and trebuchets raining down from above. Our knight's charging in to engage. Got the uh, the Knights of the Lionhearted smashing into the centre there, but Morga is nearby, and that's a big problem for us because Morga, of course, is just an absolute bastard to kill, for one, and two, does a lot of damage to everyone around him. Our knight's flanking around. Of course, because they brought Chaos Spawn to the fight, it's, uh, it's going to be difficult to break them. Well, in fact, you can't break them. They're unbreakable. Uh, it's going to be difficult to smash through them. Let's put it that way. However, our knights are doing a fantastic work on the flank, slamming into unit after unit. Knights of Lionhearted, though, taking a lot of damage very, very quickly. And unfortunately, they might get turned into Chaos Spawn. Our infantry advancing the battle pilgrims charging in. Oh, it's not looking good for them. That's very low. That's too low. I think they're about to die. Yep, they've been turned into Chaos Spawn. Oops. Got uh, dwellers from below. Always causes a lot of lag for some reason. That's causing a lot of damage to these guys. Uh, this this big blob of units here is is pretty damaged. So that could be quite useful. Our knights are still mopping up units. Luon is coming over to assist. Going to drop a, uh, a wind blast. And that is... Oh, that's a lot of jam. That's a lot of... That does a lot of damage. With one spell, 215 kills. That breaks that blob of units. They are sent scurrying the other way. We need to deal with Morga. But also with this Doom Ball. Now, for some reason, Marie decides to go and attack the Doom Ball. That's a bad idea. She's also got a giant... And, uh, yeah, so that Doom Ball is going to, to rip Mary a new one. She may be aggressive, but that's not a good idea. Knights continuing to just mop up any unit they can spot. Got uh, big engagements over here as the Knights engage. The Ungors cutting through them, but they're not the main threat. The Ungors, they're easy to kill. The real problem is going to be things like the Giants, uh, Chaos Spawn... And Morga himself. Now, Morga's down here. As you can see, he's not taking a huge amount of damage. And he's continuing to do a lot of damage in return. The tick, uh, his, his number of kills just tick up slowly as he does damage around him. These giants are a pain as well. But fortunately, we've got Cassian in here to help out. We've got the, the Green Knight. He's, he's only killed 25. But he has been tanking a lot of Chaos Spawn and units uh, such as the the Piggies. What are they called? Razor Gore Herd. That's them. Okay, the enemy army is is mostly defeated. You can see raining down fire on the back of that giant. He should be broken. Our infantry chasing off any Ungors and trying to give our knights room to engage the last few units, such as this Doom Ball and uh, the Beastmen Giant and Morga, of course. Morga is unbreakable, so we're going to have to kill him. But he doesn't die very quickly. So with this, with this giant routing, what I'm going to do is pull everyone away from from Morga, apart from our lords, because our lords, of course, are are very tanky. They've got a lot of health, and they also do a lot of damage to Morga. Whereas these units will just take damage and uh, potentially potentially get turned into chaos spawn as well, because he he can do that with. He probably already probably would have already done that anyway. So he's probably already turned two of our units into into chaos spawn. Um, 
So thanks, Morga. But we're going to move everyone else away. So Luan, Cassion, the Green Knight, Fyrus and Armand are just going to wail away on him until he drops dead. That's right, Morga. Get the fuck out of here. He can't live forever. We're also going to debuff the shit out of him. He's got two melee defense. I mean, he's healing. He's regenerating. We just need to... But we, we can out-damage that heal. Especially with two melee defense and 22 armor. I mean, he has... Yeah, he's paced. Will you please die? But we killed the rest of your army. If you could just, like, fall over and explode, that would be grand. Come on. Almost. 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 That wasn't... Oh, God. I've got Morgo all over me. That's gross. A little bit close. Awesome Battle Pilgrims. And nice Lionhearted, which is a shame. Never mind. Got Talisman of uh, Protection, which apparently is a three ward safe. That's worse than normal, isn't it? Good. Now, I had to... It's not the first time I actually started fighting that fight. It's the second time. Because I got halfway through and uh, then it crashed. So I had to reload from... Okay. Um, had to reload from the start of the turn, which is why I have the Holy Wardens of La Maison Tal rather than the Beast Slayers, because I didn't get the money from the non-aggression pact down here, so I couldn't afford them. It wasn't the end of the world. I am the blood of Gilles. Armored in faith. Okay, hopefully we can just auto resolve this. Portanians, attack! Portraits all fine. Everyone fine. Good. I ride. Lovely. Well. Taking my leave. On for the lady. We lost Marienburg. Again. Wait, was that the first time? Mm, generally can't remember. At least we got some extra income over there so you know it's not it's not worse it's 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 pretty shit it's pretty shit i'm gonna have to resettle that which is gonna take resources and then i'm gonna have to rebuild it and that's gonna be annoying so let's make cassian immortal Arcane Conduit there, and Armand can have Wound Maker. Let's get you down here to do it, because you've got trash units. That's my thinking. So, let us get... I never see that ability... Like, he's got abilities, but he doesn't have that one. Leadership, so it's disabled. So he, is that just, just general? Just always has it. Just always has hit points. Fine. Okay. So it's not ability. It's just a, it's a passive. That's fine. I don't think I want any of these, to be honest. None of this seems particularly... I mean, plus one melee attack for our, all armies, faction, for cavalry units. All, like, it's not really worth, worth the effort, in my opinion. So we could get Devastating Charge. May as well. Okay, now we need to take out Musalon. That's my thinking. Let's get more, more melee defense for you. We need to get some... Do we have any knight recruitment unit? Uh, no, we do, we do down here, don't we? We do down here, but I think that's the only place. And now we're losing money. Of course we are. 
What is your behest? Because we came out of Corone, that's why. Paladin of Britonia. Honest, you know what? You just get rid of I can't afford you. You're too expensive. Get the fuck out of my life. You're fired. Income from timber industry, 50%. Longer spears. I mean... Although we get this upkeep reduction for all my my peasanty units. Uh, let's get Comfort Door and Chain Lightning there for no particular reason that I can think of. We'll retake Marienburg because pff, why not? I mean, maybe I should have got defences and maybe I could have held out against Morga had I had defences, but it would only, only would have been the first level of the defences and even then that's... Would have I have held out? I genuinely don't know. I think the likelihood is probably not. Morgo was such a bastard to kill. To I will take your military alliance. I... Oh... No... Gonna have to do that. It's a shitter, isn't it? Why, why the fuck do you want to attack Come Bastone? Then, Spit out your words so I can be done with them. What fucking reason, you lunatics? <sighs> Swear to mother, honest to God. Ah, uh, huh. Right. Well, I'm, ass I'm assuming that's like a. You honor me. By the lady. I see. I guess at least I don't need to spend the money to reset. My blade is ready. That's really fucking weird. Lord. That's really fucking weird. Alright, we'll go here. I'm going to take the... I guess you'd be a fairly tanky front line. Head eaters. King Luan. How much do you cost? It's actually fairly reasonable. Okay, you'll do for the moment. Lord of Bretonia. I serve the lady. <sighs> right, you're going to sit in Marienburg for the moment, I think. And we're going to move to deal... Now, how long are you here for? 18 turns. Blessings of the lady be upon you. And you. Oh, we could get the companions of Quinez. They do cost... 2,630 to recruit, though. Only 123 upkeep, so... It's not bad. Pretty cheap. Just a bastard to recruit. I really would like to tax people. Moderate tax increase? How's, how, how, how is everyone? Uh, so, Bastogne's going down. Quite, quite badly. Corone's going down. The Wastelands is going down, but that was to be expected. Massive Morkel is also going down. How much money do I have? If I save, I can get those... Right, you. Well, you don't. And you're right in my way as well. My reputation I'm off. Me. Half totally very understanding on why the bloody dwarves declared war on you. Uh, okay, if I go... Very well, I go. Okay, we'll go over here. 
I need more money. As such, what's the best place to build? I guess this isn't the worst place, actually, come to think of it, because we do get the 30% increase, don't we? But the growth here is going to be... It's not great. It's not horrendous. It's not great. Kind of maxed out. Oh, we could if we save the money. We could, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the money then. Mary, good job on not dying. Top, top work there. We'll do something like that. Then we need to march over to what's his face's territory. Then we attack Musalon. Finally. I do... You know what? I should I should see if I can get the Empire to declare war on the... Oh, no. The vampires are taking a bite out of... Uh, right. We, we, we'll deal with Musalon. Then we need to go and help the Empire. Ideally get Carl to kill the bloody Warherd of the Shadow Gave. Ideally. Although the problem is... Where are they? Down there. How are you strength rank 13? I literally just killed your army. Two armies. I murdered two armies. How are you strength rank 13? I guess as long as we've got... We have met before. As long as we've got the army here, we should be... Should be... Should be okay? I think we need to kill Musalon sooner rather than later. The lion. The king stands with you. Right. Yeah, good. Yes. Right, you, you, just don't mind us, just passing through. Get a fucking move on. Welcome, friends. Let's hope we come, you mewling fool. Gee, that's rude. Okay, 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 we can take it. We can, what the fuck is that? Increases discoverability of... Why? Because I'm marching? Alright. Alright, fine. Fine, whatever. Whatever whatever makes you happy. I would like more marble. Actually, come to think of it, I would like to... How much does this cost? 5,000... Right, that's quite expensive. So, I'm just going to hope that uh, Morga is nowhere nearby and that we can get the ambush on Musalon. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Pretty positive. The dwarves have ever been friends of Bretonia. Hello. Okay, well, you know. Oh, and you're recruiting another army. My strength and wisdom are yours. Duly noted. If the lady wills it. Okay, you just stay you there. Counsel? I'm going to lay ambush. Blues, I can tell. I'm going I can to tell. declare war. Is Marienburg still alive? How the fuck are they still alive? Where? I am genuinely shocked. Do they actually have a settlement left? Asking the real questions here. Yes. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you've got you've got Fort Bergbras. You've got one pitiful little fort. So you have no armies. You're literally just a fort now. Okay. Well. You seek the lady's favor. That's a mood. I want to upgrade this. It's going to cost me eight thousand. So I'm going to have to save my pennies. Not going to upgrade you. I've got other things to be doing. Plus, you keep getting burned down. Well, I mean, this is the first time, but... Or was it? Is it the first time? Or did I just manage to save it the first... I, I genuinely can't remember. But I'm, I suspect it's probably maybe the first time. But maybe there's more. But ultimately, you do seem to... Marienburg, you, you just, you're just a victim. Huh. Someone's come to help, but I don't know who it is. Some 
Masked Stranger. No, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. All right, well, I, I guess having some help is better than no help, especially as we have caught both the Red Duke and his other army, which means we may be able to kill both of them and then take Musalon. Maybe. Let's find out. I'm not entirely sure how this this works because we don't have a military alliance or defensive alliance as far as I know with Al... Who? Who? With who? With that the nameless trident man. Whoever he may be. Uh, so we're up against the Red Duke. He's up in the sky. The nameless trident man is down there. Virus is instantly charging in to engage the Red Duke. Luan not far behind. Debuffing the shit out of him. He now has zero melee defense and 65 armor, which makes him a pretty easy target. Our knights are swooping down to help out the uh, the mysterious knights, masked knights army, who are currently engaging a lot of the enemy infantry and uh, some black knights over there. They're also getting massively debuffed. We've dropped all kinds of shit on this guy. And uh, yeah, the Red Duke is getting his head kicked in. He's sending in some bats to try and save him, but that's not going to help. He's dead. Oof. Meanwhile, our knights are roving around behind the enemy army. Pegasus knights charging into the rear of those skeleton warriors, getting a lovely little charge there. And our knights now lining themselves up to help out on this blob on the left flank. Some black knights trying to engage us. I don't entirely know why, but it's too little too late. It's a devastating charge. Absolute, absolute carnage. The Black Knights disintegrating immediately. And the rest of those units now taking huge amounts of punishment from the rear. The Pickers Knights helping out in the centre there. Uh, there's still a bit of a blob fighting on that flank, but no problem. Meanwhile, enemy reinforcements are coming in. But our infantry and trebuchets and archers are helping to uh, hit those while they advance. Plus some Knights Errant from the Allied Army moving in. Lovely. Pretty good stuff there. Now, we do have the enemy general to kill as well. And de after dealing with the Red Duke, Luon and Thyrus are now moving in to finish off the the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord and the Vargolf as well. The Blood Dragon... Uh, obviously, he's seen his boss get killed. So he's probably a bit like... The Red Duke was one of the... was, you know, a very powerful vampire. And he got his head... His ass handed to him and his head kicked him. So maybe I shouldn't be fighting these two at the same time. But... No, there we go. Luan and Thyrus, the Batman and... Whoa, his head fell off. Batman and Robin of Bretonia once again. Our knight's mopping up what's left. Getting an another little charge there. Slamming into the back of those Crypt Ghouls. Gee, just, just crushing them. They, they literally just disintegrate immediately. Pegasus Knight's coming in to help out on the other flank. Charge into there to help out the men at arms. Without their general, they're not starting to disintegrate as well. And the enemy reinforcements. We sent our ogres in to join the party. Because why not? Well, thank you, mysterious masked stranger, whoever you are. Don't know, drawing a blank. Uh, I'll, I'll execute the... I thought I said eat captives for a second. I was like, wow, God, the peasants really are... Really are hungry these days. But no, it was just execute, so that's fine. How did that work, though? Because don't, we don't have a... Friends, let's hope we come to an accommodation. We don't have a defensive or military alliance, so how the fuck did that work? I'm not complaining. You seek the lady's just favor. think it's weird. Okay, we could take Musalon, or we could Samson kill the, the Duke. Lady. Now, it depends whether of whoever this guy is. King Luan. Can I send Cassian to take him out? Cease. I reckon Cassian can do it. I reckon you got this, buddy. Uh, Armand. Be a wound maker. Okay, can right, arm arms. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just can you can you kill this guy? Nice. Very well, I go. 
Good job. You've become a warrior. You seek and a man. But more importantly, slightly high level. The, the, the virus. What do we want fire? I mean, obviously he's a true, true hero of Bretonia. Um, but... Does he have quality feed or is he a storied hero? Tricky to know. My vow or blinding majesty. I think he's got quality feeds, you know. I genuinely do. So, let's... Right, we want to take Musalon hard and fast. I'm going to get... Because that boosts up everyone around you, doesn't it? It does. Right, so continue the siege. Yasmina, you can have a unicorn. Because I think every... Every girl should have a unicorn. And then we take... Can we all resolve this? I'll take that. Okay, we're still taking attrition because, you know, vampires. It's, it's riddled. Riddled, I say. Uh, okay, that reduces the upkeep. Do I care about that? No, knock it down, get something else there. Right, now we need to take Leonessi. We need to take it now. I'm also a little bit concerned about Kajal, who is obviously... I get the sneaky submission. It might be Carl with a moustache. He's just stuck a beard on his head, put a big hand, and he's like, I'm going to start doing some raiding. Just get that feeling. Uh, Amber Spear, of course, because it is the best spell in the game. We know that to be true. I could... Just get some oatmeal. Do we need oatmeal? I don't think we do. I mean, the garrison here is fine. Plus, we've got the extra army, so I'm not worried about that. That army cannot threaten anything we have here. So, that's that's fine. We're just going to ignore it. It might do a little bit of raiding. That will be, at most, slightly irritating. Matt, I mean, why... why? Why would you give Lou on that ever? Maybe it's something that all the generals have, but fuck me. You just wouldn't, would you? Stand your ground. 30 seconds, 30 melee defense. It's not the worst thing to have. It's 50 meters. Could be, could be useful. Sure. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take that. And she's got a soft spot for the small folk. Give them more, more, more physical resistance. Of course, we have the Blessing of Ladies. So that's 20% physical resistance on top of that. And everything else. Right. We need to take Leonessi and crush the Musulon threat. Because then I can worry about other things like Tyrion potentially declaring war on me, the dwarves in the mountains. And also the vampires in the Empire, who seem to be expanding. That's fine. That's slightly concerning. Okay, they're still a little ways away. Can I get the Empire to declare war on them? Greetings from Sigma. Come on. I'll ignore that. Yep. Bastards. Just kill them. Look, they've got a... Alright, quite a scary garrison. But apart from that, what are they going to do? Kill ya? Well, maybe. Right, well. By the light of the lady. Let's just get in I here then. Because yes, Muslon may well rebel. But I'll worry about that after we've taken it. Can I just Good, there we go. It's all in. Sorted. Right. You get in here. I think we're still Oh no, no, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Do not worry. Let's get a lovely field. And I do like the upkeep production, but I feel like getting... Because, yeah, we're, we're going to have to... There's a lot of vampires to be staked 
in and around this area. Okay, public order stable. Not great there. Not great here. That's because we don't have a pub. That's obviously the issue there. So if we get a pub, maybe it'll be better. Plus we're taxing people more. So maybe if we, you know, did a little bit of that. Now, am I thinking it? I, right, next I think we need to go into the Empire. We need to kill the vampires. I mean, one, that's going to give us more chivalry. We're up to 710. That's pretty good. Could be better, but it's pretty good. I just need 2,000. That's a lot. It seems like a lot. But I mean, we could get more peasants. If we had any money. Well, we actually have money. Or do we? Because every time I think I have money, suddenly it all disappears and I don't know what's happened to it. So let's just assume that maybe it's fine and maybe it's not. Uh, we're going to get the land of the state here. It's going to take a while to build. But we do have 81% increase for income. So it takes it to 361. Plus we have the 50% there. So that should make that quite a lot of money. Hopefully. Um, I might have to knock down the outpost here. So that I can build the, the farm and windmill combo. We'll do that here as well. That can actually be a fairly nice little money making uh, island there. Could be alright. You never know. I am the blood of Good to know. Uh... Selective Abhorrence. Blessing of the Lady. Yeah, sure, let's get that, because that makes you more, more tanky. I do tend to send you into tough-to-survive situations, so to be fair. Uh, let's get more Chain Lightning, and you're just going to hold the line there. You've torched Gorsal, which is... If I could leave Marienburg, I'd go and potentially worry about what's going on with the rest of this province. But until we can get that ranked up, there's just just no point. Just no point. Is there anything that's going to like... Oh, plus one untainted. Yes, that's what we need. It's going down by 8% a turn. But there's currently a little bit of concern about the vampires. Little bit, you know... Minus 17. Little bit of concern. There's a little, little rumblings amongst the peasantry that there may be one or two vampires around. And uh, so we're going to put uh, put a stake in that. And that should be fine. And we'll be, we'll be, we'll be okay. Massive Orcals getting a little bit sad. Uh, we could get a chapel of the lady there. Could do that. Let's do this because that'll give us more money, right? And at this moment in time, it's all about the money as that lady sang. Was it Jesse J? That one, maybe. Okay, that's not good. Right, where are you? How have you got that much? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, right. What can I do? I could recruit a horde of peasants. Eh, not 100% sure it's going to be super effective. I mean... You honor me. Right. My reputation right, Cassian, you have the bridge. The the if vampires pop up, stake them. Just, just stake them, alright? Right, buddy? You got this. I believe in you. It's fine, he's, he's got this. He's got... Right, if they get any closer, then... That we... Mm. We have met before. Oh, fuck. If you... If you... Oof, oof, if you... If you... Oof, you burn it, I'm going to be so annoyed. Holy shit, what's going on on Ulf 1? Are they still... Right, Lover's Tiff is still on, apparently. I am the heir of Anarium, and I bid you welcome. Okay, look... Look, mate. All right. I think... Have I backed the wrong horse here? What's... So it looks like the elves are so busy kicking the shit out of each other, they're all really low on the strength ranking. <laughs> Nagaron strength rank one. While the high elves are all sort of like... Like, the highest is Tyrion at 32. They're just beating the shit out of each other. Oh, guys! Guys! Come on! <sighs> Noble. 
My blade is ready. Honest to God, what, what can you do? Hey, eh? What can you do? Uh, I'm tempted to get rid of the, the ogres and get more knights. The, the, the companions. We could get the companions, couldn't we? They're actually pretty bloody cheap. They're cheaper than the knights errant. I mean, okay, they don't have as much charge bonus, but... Strong Vigor. Forma yeah, they got all the formations. Okay. Fine. Obviously, it looks like Morga is on his way once again to throw himself at Marienburg. This time, though... This time, it is def so sort of defended. It has some level of defences, although how we're going to kill Morga is anyone's guess. Okay, nice that you're showing me that. Don't know why, though. I think Morga burned Wisenmund, in which case we are, for the moment, safe. So... I'm going to sneak over here. Sorceress. Champion of the lady. I know it's... Seriously? Fine. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Okay, we're sorting this problem out. We're okay. Massive four call. I, I'm tempted to get the chapel of the lady because that will... Increase the income for all adjacent provinces. Paravon is is happy once again because of the pub. Because we got a pub. And suddenly everyone's like, yeah, 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 and getting drunk, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh we can and the public order here is actually pretty pretty good anyway. So that's fine. And over here, it's also still fine. Which is good. And we're boosting up. Now, the Isle of Wights is... No. Oh, you've got a couple of... Deity. Got a couple of problems there. Can we please kill Rakath? He's just... Rakath has been alive for a long time. And I think he should be dead by now. Right, we've got... Vampires all over the bloody place. And for some reason, some chaos. I don't quite understand why they're there. Marienburg. Do we want to upgrade you or do we want to save? I think we want to save, don't we? We could get questing knights. Should I get questing knights? I should get questing knights, shouldn't I? Because knights errant, garbage. Questing knights, on the other hand, potentially more interesting. I like questing knights more than knights errant because questing knights can leave in combat. Or has that changed? Who knows? I guess we'll have to find that out next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.